How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Chaos Child. Now we kind of left off of a very, very juicy part, or what I will assume to be a juicy part, as we are overhearing a conversation. The last episode was mainly us piecing together uh, everything so far, keeping up with the board, and also adding the details of the stickers, those sumo stickers. They do have importance. We just don't know what yet. So, let us listen in to this conversation. Arimura frowned a little. By interrogations, he must mean they were asking her about what she was doing at the Love Hotel. <sighs> what was that? A file? Ninen Sankumi Arimura Hinae, Juroksai. Nisen Juyonen, Hekyo Gakuen Nin Yungaku. ブンゲーブ部長友達が多く明るく社交的な性格の持ち主成績は中の中歩道歴や学園側に反発するなどの問題行動を取った記録はなし学園側から提出された君の資料だこれにこちら側で調べた簡単な君のプロフィール以外事
Man, all of our main characters here seem to just be somehow connected to that earthquake. Coincidence? I think not. Hi, Shinjo. Ah. Ah. Wakata. Jupun Hodo de Modoru. Susmeto de Gray. The detective stood up. I quickly scrunched my shoulders together and leaned close to the newspaper. The detective knew our faces. I couldn't let him see me. To. Ah, so da. So no mine. The detective took out something like a file. What is it? A sticker? And Arimura jerked backward and looked away, frowning. Oh, there it is. Did she say sticker? She was still looking away as she spat out the words. The detective's that is true. I would be sick of it. I'm gonna refuse to look at it. The detective put it away. This time he turned to go for real. だから話せることがありません。話さなくていい。だが条件付きの釈放を面白く思っていない親方もいる。しがらみってやつだ。平気で、あれだけ元気な君なら簡単なことだろ。Arimoto sighed a, a very exaggerated sigh, excuse me. <sighs> she reminds me of somebody from another anime. Or specifically also a manga, since that's the source material. Crap. Good, they didn't spot us. She probably already knows, to be honest. Things could get complicated if she caught me listening in. I paid for our drinks and headed for the exit. Just as I was able to leave... Arimura was all the way in the back, but I could hear her voice clearly. Hmm. October 6th, 2015, Tuesday. 9 o'clock p.m. In front of Shibuya Station. The place was as, cr it was as crowded and noisy as ever. Excuse me. The footsteps of people rushing to the station to get home after work. The voices of people talking into their phones about where to meet for drinks. The screams of joy as old friends were reunited. It all blended together. And it all had an effect on anyone who passed through it, even for a moment. Six years after the Shibuya quake, the city had been rebuilt to the point where there was nothing left to remind you of it. 
everything was up and running again. Until a few years ago, many people would stop and stare and wonder at how everything was new, but not anymore. The slogan of the restoration efforts, Shibuya, a city reborn, had such an effect on people that the past was beginning to be forgotten. At least, for people who weren't in Shibuya during the earthquake. You got that right. Just a one minute walk away from the station. Was the Shibuya Earthquake Memorial. <sighs> Kirisu made sure to visit once every week. She would put a flower down by the name of her best friend from elementary school and pray silently. It was only a short distance from the heart of the city, but the noise and commotion didn't reach this place. This place was somberly constructed and pure, as if it wanted to be separated from all of that. Today was October 6th. The quake was on November 6th, so this was the same day of the month. Maybe that's why there were so many flowers. Some of them were lying scattered on the ground. There was no one around. Sometimes people would come around 10.30 p.m. when the earthquake struck, but other than that, the place was mostly empty at night. Kyudisu went around the area, grabbing up all the scattered flowers she could see and put them on nearby dais. She'd done it many times before. It was all part of her routine. <sighs> Kyudisu was thinking about what had happened a few days before, and about her younger brother, Miyashiro. So wait, did she hear that too? I'm assuming she did. She had heard it clearly. Arimura Hinae had said those words to Miyashiro. No, that was impossible. There is no way her brother was go was about to get caught up in something because of what he'd learned. Uh. A sudden wind blew the flowers out of her hand. They scattered away from her. Uh. All she could do was watch. For a moment, she tried to reach out and grab them, but her hand clawed uselessly at the air. Before the feelings overwhelmed her, she turned toward the place where her friend's name was carved. Nah. She rubbed it gently. The familiar sensation came to her through her fingers. Now that's some Japanese. But the name, Minami Misawa, Misawa Senri, sorry, just echoed the question back to her. Oh, looks like we're home. That was fast. いいんじゃないか。珍しくいいアングルだ。お前な。言っとくけどかなり面倒くさかったんだぞ、これ。どっかにくくりつけたのか。なんか壁にくっついてる鉄パイプみたいなやつにな。は?うちがそれきと雨
そろそろ渋谷ニュースの放送が始まるんだよえ今日放送あるのかちゃんと全部チェックしとけよ。今日の更新文の最後に書いてあったぞ、伊藤部員。やがまし He hung up on me angrily. I put the phone down and checked the time. About five more minutes. I opened Shibuya News and waited for the broadcast to start. After that, Arimura had waited about an hour before she'd come out of Cafe Lax. I thought about pretending to run into her, but I didn't want to go up to her too fast and have her find out I was listening. As I waited for the right moment, she got in a taxi and left. She was probably heading to the Shibuya police station for an interrogation. <laughs> This was amazing. I wasn't able to talk to Arimura, but I. But I knew I'd managed to get much more important information. There was a lot about their conversation I didn't understand, but I was right about one thing the police were treating the incidents, or at least revolving dead, as murders. Yeah. That detective, Shinjo, was it? He seemed to be acting separately from the rest of the police force. And he had some kind of secret about it that he had shared with Arimura. But more importantly than that, and more importantly than anything, from what he'd been saying, I was sure of it. And while he knew about the sumo stickers, he didn't seem to realize their importance. Maybe he hadn't realized that they were at the other two crime scenes. Good. I really was one step ahead of the police. If I kept it up, I might be able to learn more about the case than anyone else. More than the ignorant kids getting ready for the festival, more than the people who had to cling to the internet for information, more than even the police. More than Kawahara, that jerk who called me a pretend reporter, and the rest of that class. Who called me a camera kid? Damn, she really has that voice, huh? Shibuya News' net radio started just like it had said it would. And I am unfortunately gonna have to take a break here. You guys won't experience anything except a quick little edit, but it is time for me to go to sleep. I just really wanted to、uh, go into that conversation since I had to, had to hold myself off there, which really sucked. It was、uh, probably not a great spot to end an episode. It really probably wasn't. But the episode will continue, but I must sleep. And I'm awake. Let us continue on. Shibuya News' net radio started just like it said it would. Kay's voice was as pleasant and clear as ever. The last broadcast was after the Love Hotel incident, so it would have been September 30th. It had been about a week. Yeah, I hate the weather right now, actually. We are getting into the heat right now. And it's,、uh, it's really bad. As I listened to her voice read out all the latest information from Shibuya, I grabbed a magazine off a cabinet shelf. It was a back issue of Cool Cat Press that I'd bought, or rather been forced to buy from Gen. Just like with Kay's broadcast, it had been a while since I'd spent any time with this. I paged through it looking for an interesting article. It was still mostly junk. Ten ways to make your ideal girl like you. How to, tell if you're, or how to tell your ideal girl you like her, and what to say to your ideal girl to get her into your bed, etc. There were a lot of articles that were of no interest to me whatsoever. Nope, none at all. As I carefully read through these articles, which did not interest me at all, 
I found a small section in the back that was something a little different. Uh, somebody will reveal her naked heart how to know exactly what she's thinking. I don't know how to pronounce that name. The article consisted of strange symmetrical drawings in black ink, along with commentary or commentary from a psychoanalyst or analyst, excuse me, about what each said about your personality. Or at least it was someone who claimed to be a psychoanalyst. At the very end, there were even diagrams on how to use these pictures to see how popular you were or how compatible you were with a certain girl. I whispered to myself, the Rose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and pronounce it, the Rose Chalk Test, we'll roll with that, was a famous personality test. The test involved pouring black, red, black and red ink down a folded card and spreading it out to create a strange symmetrical uh, shape. Excuse me. My dog just wandered off. Hey, get back over here. Get back over here. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, symmetrical shapes, yeehaw. Different people would see the shape as a dog's head, or a man and a woman kissing, and what you saw told you about your personality. Uh, well, the top left look, the top left, top left, goddamn, the top left photo looks like two bears high-fiving. Uh, the top right looks like, uh, shit, I don't know what that looks like. Let's skip that one. The bottom left looks like some evil-ass demon. And yeah, I guess the bottom right one could, uh, it kind of could look like a dog's head. You can see the ears, and you can see kind of like the, uh, I don't, I don't know what you would call it, but the sides of the head, and then the eyes. Looks more like a beast. But the idea of using it to determine your pop, your popularity, excuse me, or your compatibility with a certain girl was just so stupid I had to laugh. うーん。この机は羊か何何これが羊などの毛に覆われた動物に見えたあなたは本心を隠そうという意識が強く女の子には何を考えているかわからない人ととても警戒されています。そんなあなたのモテ度は20点です。なんだと。I snapped back to my senses. That was close. I almost did the whole test. I tossed the magazine on my desk. And then, as if she'd been waiting for me to finish, Kay's voice became a little more serious. Huh? The point? What article, what article was she talking about? I listened intently to Kay's words. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. So,今渋谷で起こっている連続料金事件です. 6年前の渋谷で連続して起こった。ニュージェネレーションの狂気という事件の日付と今回の連続料金事件の日付が一致していることは以前に述べましたが、この動画はそれ以外の共通点を指摘してくださっています。What? Had someone other than us noticed? このアドレスです。I clicked the link she posted immediately after I saw it. It was an address for a Nikonia video. The few seconds it took to load felt like an eternity. Huh? I saw the thumbnail for the video and quickly turned away. And then I grabbed my phone. おのえ、渋谷ニュース聞いてるか？早く見てみろ。僕らの動画が特集されてる。
That's what it looked like, huh? October 7th, 2015, Wednesday. Uh, fuck me? <laughs> Trustworthiness investigation company Frisia. So, there are Konkaiwa Konoatari de Otskia Itadaki, Arigato Gosaimas. Wazakana Jikano Aitewa, Watakshi, Kesan de Sta. Jikokua Mamonaku, Nisen Jugonen, Jugat Nanoka, Deji Nijun Nifun. Kui no Nai Chinichina, Hajimera Rikoto in Otteimas. Kunasato gave her usual sign off and ended the broadcast. Can she crush me with her thighs? I mean, what? She stretched expansively, her shoulders cracking as the stretch passed through her entire body. She knew that acting like a proper lady was the way to get listeners for these guerrilla radio broadcasts, but it still felt like she was taking things too far. After almost a hundred times, she was used to it, but she'd never finish a broadcast without feeling exhausted. Uh, oh, so that's what Momose looks like. What an interesting group, huh? A high school student who's pretending to be somebody else I guess not pretending to be somebody else, I guess you can call it an alter ego, to get some listeners in for her news show, an investigator, Shinjo, and some lady that seems to be extremely knowledgeable and trustworthy, but I don't I don't know other I don't know anything other than that, really. Shinjo watched, stunned, as Mio leaned back in her chair, crossed her legs, and accepted a coffee from Momose. <laughs> She sure didn't look like a girl who'd been speaking into a computer microphone with a pleasant voice just a moment ago. Definitely a pleasant voice. God damn. He knew this was what she was really like, but... Huh? Her eyes met with his. Oh, oh, that made no sense. Broadcasting information? Momose glanced over at Kinosato. Mio-chan Ah, that sounds familiar. Kunosato nodded and started to massage her tired shoulders. Now somebody told me in the comments, and thank you to whoever that was, that apparently... That was Makise Kirisu. That's pretty crazy. He'd had no idea. He'd thought she was pretty grown up for a 17-year-old, but... Mamase pointed at Shinjo's head. Without waiting for Shinjo or Momose to agree, she continued. He sighed to himself. Oi. 
気味悪がっていただけだ確かかあ何をそんなに気にしているそういえばさっきもシールについて何か言っていたな He thought back to how different Kunisato's voice was when she was on the radio. あれは何をしていたんだだから、情報の発信だと言っただろう。うんちゃんと説明してあげたらこれから新庄ちゃんとは解決まで協力することになるんだし。Kunisato didn't bother to hide her displeasure at Mama Say's interruption. ギブアンドテイクでしょもらえるものがあればいいんですがね。That was enough to piss Shinjo off. お前な、少しは年長者に対する敬意を。今年発表された主要メディアの利用率を知っているか。はネットの利用者は全体で7割。10代では8割。20代、30代では9割が利用していて。いずれもテレビよりも利用率が高い。都市部に限定すればもっとわかる。10代、20代で新聞を日常的に利用しているやつは1割もいない。去年も一昨年もそう変わらん。中学生へのスマホの普及率は半分以上。高校生以上になると9割5分。スマホを持っていることはネットを利用していることと同義だ。待て、何の話だ普段手に入れる情報をネットだけに依存している人間がどれだけいると思うクネサト suddenly stood up and brought over the mobile PC she'd been using to stream. She opened something on the screen for Shinjo to see. It was the homepage of a major newspaper dated yesterday. There was an article about a Shibuya resident using Koshin for an invasion of privacy. This is what I did. Huh? The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the w o r 複数人からあなたは被害者だと言われているように思わせた。踏ん切りがつかなかったようだから、週末に更新側が取った無礼な態度を録音させ、それをネタに炎上させた。その結果が。Was this? She said as she tapped the PC. まさか。ネットに依存しているやつが一番食いつく情報は自分にとって都合がいいネット以外のメディアの情報だかけてもいいがこいつは提訴に関して私が紹介した書籍以外は一行も読んでないぞ Not that I've ever seen her face, Kunisato continued The way she spoke alone was enough to make Shinjo believe that she was telling the truth なんでそんなことを百瀬さんから更新がきな臭いことは聞いているだろう私も同じ考えだなるべくイメージを落としておきたいそして私が今欲しいのは力士シールに関する情報だ The screen was indeed showing a picture of the sumo sticker and then 壁法学園新聞部シンチョウ's gaze landed on a phrase in the video's introduction. Wasn't that where those kids who snuck into the, lo- the love hotel went? His tone was irritated as he remembered the faces of the boy and the girl. Kunisato, however, seemed to find it rather entertaining. Shinjo 
After what she just told me about her dealings with Koshin, he couldn't help but believe her. He realized that he must have been looking at Momose for an answer. Just who was this girl? He felt his cheeks turn red at this entirely unexpected response. Kunisato interrupted. あ、そう言っていた。であれば、次に狙われる可能性があるとわかっているのは、有村だけになる。何の目的かは知らないが、おそらく10月10日に。ああ。October 10th. The date of the vampire incident 6 years ago. いざとなったら、お取りに使ってしまえばいい。狙われるかどうかはわからんがな。Now, are they referring to like the the fact that there's something that went wrong with her, the whole like blood in the eyes and strange shit happening to her, kind of like what happened to the other victims that we saw in the beginning of the game? Is that what they mean where they're wondering if they'd found or if she had found somebody else like her? Shinjo slammed his fist down on the desk and glared at Kunisato. That was going too far, even for him. But... Instead of getting scared, Kunisato glared back at him with an expression he'd never seen before. Her face was cold and dangerous, like the blade of a knife. She looked more like one of the people he'd arrested than anyone he'd saved. Kunisato put her hands on the desk and drew him closer, or drew closer to him. Her ilk? What? Excuse me? Yeah, I feel that. Ito whispered as he turned the camera around the room, and I wholeheartedly agreed. We were in our classroom after school. The culture festival was just three days away, and from this afternoon until the day of the event, classes were canceled to allow more time for the preparations. The rest of the class must have been getting excited because they were making even more noise than usual as they started moving around desks and furniture. Since this marked the start of, a re of real preparations for the culture festival, the newspaper club needed to go around and take more footage of the rest of the school. We'd been on our feet all afternoon. I didn't have time for this right now. Wait, so the festival's gonna be on the same day as one of the possible death days? Ito whispered as he saw the group glancing at us from the corner or from a corner of the classroom. Damn, those wrong siders. Didn't they look at the timestamp? てか、みんな思った以上にニコニア見てんだな。うちのクラスの出し物、ゲロカエルのキッスタだろ。んああ。ゲロカエルのサイブームの火付けになった動画、例の記者のワタベが特集したのがきっかけなんだよ。so a lot of them knew who Watabe was. <sighs> Ito sighed again. 
He was probably getting sick of the glances and whispers he'd been getting since lunchtime. So was I. Oh, great. Miyashiro. Na the look on Kawahara's face said, I have better things to do than waste time with you right now. Whew. So that's all he wanted to talk about. How was I supposed to answer that? We were just recording video, so there was no point when it was finished. And please stop looking at me like that. なんだよ。どのくらいだ。いや、その順調に撮ってるよ。どうかしたのか。文化祭の閉会式の時、バックに流したらいい演出になるんじゃないかっていう案が出た。できそうか。Ito put his hand on my shoulder. お、多分 だと。じゃ、細かい打ち合わせは明日するから。は? I found myself speaking to Kawahara as he turned to leave. I don't have time for なんだ? No, uh なんでもないです。Kawahara looked irritated that it that I'd stopped him. Iko, Kurusu. Kurusu? Kurusu seemed to be thinking about something. It wasn't clear if she'd heard him or not. And suddenly she looked at me. Takuru. Nandayo. Uh. For once, Kirisu seemed uncertain about what to say. Come to think of it, this was the first time I talked to her since the incident with Arimura. Off we go, I suppose. She dragged me out to the corner of an empty hallway. I shook her hand off my arm. Kurisu cradled the hand I'd shaken off protectively. She nodded. That wasn't a lie. I hadn't spoken to her directly after all. But we did tail her ass. What? Uh-oh. Kirisu remained silent, her lips pressed into a thin line. And then... Na-na-na. <laughs> Had she been checking our page? Na-na-na. <laughs> There was something different about the way she talked. Her whole personality was different than usual. It wasn't forceful. She was lecturing me, but instead of looking me in the eye, she was cradling her arm. It was as if she was speaking to herself, not to me. For the first time since I'd left the orphanage, I thought I might be able to win an argument with her. あぶないことはしてない。新しくアップした動画だって普通の取材の範囲だったろ。今あの動画いろいろあって注目されてる。僕はそれに書き込むことしかできない他の連中とは違う。またそんなこと。子供じゃないんだから。部室に行く。教室
あなたも他の人と違わないただの高校生でしょ Her voice wasn't as strong as usual, but there was no trace of anything like kindness in it either. I didn't stop walking. A minute later, Ito ran up to me and we walked to the club room together. Ito asked me if something had happened, but I told him that wasn't the case. Ah, yatto kita! Futari to mo osoi yo! Yeah, sorry, we kinda got caught up in something. And that is where we are gonna end this episode. And I'm going to go back to sleep. I wonder if my editing made it look like. Actually, no, wait. You know what? Never mind. I was going to say,、uh, I hope my editing makes it look like I slept, woke up, recorded, and then I'm going to go back to sleep. But I guess the, the timestamp that was there and what now is there probably will prove that wrong. Oh well, I tried. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. All that fancy jazz. I hate the fact that there's sumo stickers on this、uh, menu now. <laughs> really creepy shit. Man, I'm excited for this festival coming up because that's also、um, that's October 10th right there. It's gonna be、uh, pretty interesting to see what happens then. Definitely stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.